what is up guys oh my god i feel so weird vlogging because i haven't vlogged in about a year and first and foremost i do want to say thank you to um everyone who has reached out to me within this crazy year of not being on youtube and i really really appreciate you guys so so much but i feel that i'm ready to come back to the youtube world and share what i've been doing for the past year and catch up with you guys and it's fall so you guys know that i love fall hey the minute that chicago's weather starts changing and cooling down a bit i wear my cute little fur coat and my sweaters and all that so i am prepared for this amazing fall cannot wait for winter guys you guys know that i love winter so so much but yeah guys you know i am blogging from my office and i am just super excited to be here and i'm going to give you guys a little tour of my office and why i got this office and just keep up with you guys because i know you guys have a lot of questions and i am going to answer them all today so stay tuned let me uh prepare a glass of wine take this off and just get a little bit more comfortable so let's do this guys this lighting is so much better because i have my camera settings in a totally different setting and i look so weird and the lighting was just so horrible i haven't blocked in over a year guys so i'm still kind of like getting used to it i think a couple of blocks i will be okay but um i'm gonna show you guys what i got at trader joe's because that is like my store for wine and bubbly and just amazing amazing wine this is one of my favorites let me show you and then this one is a uh, Cabernet and it is made in France and it's so 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 yummy guys this is the to me the equivalent of uh, Louis Roder uh, this is the same company that kind of makes crystal but they don't really want to say it just sh don't say nothing guys I also got this one guys is my all-time favorite and and this other one guys I love how the bottle looks and it's like super like witchy like halloween-ish and i'm sure you guys have tried this this is like a very like popular one and i always like to kind of like stock up on my wine when i'm in the office doesn't mean that i'm going to drink that like in a day or whatever because i just don't but i always like to have um either wine bubbly vodka or whatever you know if i'm in the mood for a little drink which i'm always in the mood I just have one so i got myself some snacks too and this is the first time that i'm trying those pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds oh gotta read my emails and then everything but the bagel those are kind of like nuts and stuff and yeah guys so i am gonna tell you guys really quick what i've been doing throughout this entire year and why i kind of like stopped doing youtube for a minute and just basically catch up with you guys because i know it's been a while and i've been very very sad guys because i've missed you so so much you guys know that you guys are kind of like my therapy and i just love chatting with you guys so I'm happy that I'm back and I'm happy that we're back and yeah guys so let me put those wines in the fridge really quick and I will catch up with you guys and let you guys know um, what I've been doing. Alright guys so let's cheers. Mm. 
So let me tell you guys what I've been doing. So when I wasn't on YouTube, I was kind of elaborating my own business. And that was something that I didn't really share with anyone because you guys know that there's a lot of haters out there that just don't wish you the best. And um, took me a while to get everything together, but I finally did. And I opened um, a staffing agency. So I have an employment staffing agency in Chicago. And I've had it for a little bit over a year now. And so far, so good, guys. I've been so busy with that, thankfully. Um, I also... Uh, in between that, I decided to open a second business, which is a cleaning company for uh, residential and commercial. And I just say so busy, guys. But, you know, prior to opening my two companies, I was in the food and beverage industry. I was helping a family relative and I was serving for almost a year, guys, because I was a little bit nervous. Um, I didn't know if like my company was going to be successful or not so I still kind of like had to maintain um, you know like a job like a backup you know and that was like one of the other jobs that I had and I really really enjoyed it it was so much fun um, I only got into like the food and beverage industry because it is a family a member who offered me a job and I was just like well I don't have any food and beverage experience but I can definitely learn um, I really loved it guys you know prior to doing that I was in the hospitality industry for about 16 years and I just got so fed up with that guys and I don't think that I've ever really like um, talked too much on what I did for a living or what I currently do. So I kind of want to be a little bit more open-minded with that, guys, because, um, yeah, you know, like, if you are if you are an entrepreneur, you know for a fact that you have to have multiple jobs to uh, make things happen. And sometimes, you know, you need different kind of backups just in case one doesn't work out. And that's what I did. And eventually, um, I left the food and beverage industry. I'm still doing music. Um, I've recorded more music, guys. I have two albums that I recorded within the year. And I'm still doing, um, you know, social media content on uh, Instagram and still doing a lot of partnerships with companies and things like that. So. Um, I'm good guys, you know, thankfully I'm really, really blessed, you know, I hustle, I work really, really hard. Um, food and beverage industry was very, very interesting guys because I got a chance to meet a lot of people, cheap people, people that were super nice, uh, people that tipped really, really good. Um, all the customers love me, you know, and I actually kept in touch with a lot of them and a lot of them are business owners and entrepreneurs and I just, you know, hit it off with them and it's just like so nice to meet people out there and that was one of the reasons why I really enjoyed doing food and beverage and, you know, serving. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it and of course, you know, um, my social media, you know, working with brands and doing music and it's nice, you know, but I'm still doing my music. I'm still doing my social media and now I have to focus in my two companies and continue working hard um, and hustle. And this is the reason why I actually got myself an office because I was working a lot from home. And to be honest with you, when you're at home, you really don't do much. So I got to the habit of um, coming into the office, you know, as much as I can, you know, daily if possible, 
and work a little, you know, and I really, really enjoyed it, guys. And so far, so good. You know, I'm super content with all the moves that I've been doing in life. And that was the main reason why I um, wasn't really like blogging, guys, because I was just so busy, so busy building two brands, busy working for the food and beverage industry, doing my social media, doing everything else that I do, my music. I was just so busy. I didn't even have time for myself. I would get home from the studio and it would be like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. I would be tired um, or I would go to the restaurant and work and be there Friday, Saturday, Sundays and didn't really have a lot of time to enjoy the weekend or enjoy my summer, which I kind of hated that. But for me, it was all about money and I made really good money and that helped me establish my companies a little bit more and it kind of gave me a push and I'm just so excited. So I'm 100% focused on my staffing agency. I've been so busy since I opened it and um, you know my cleaning business. I do a lot of commercial cleaning for uh, well-known companies, retail stores, banks, all the good stuff. So I stay busy. So this is the reason why I got myself an office. Um, also when I do my interviews and when I do my uh, meetings and things like that and when I pre-shift my now staff because I do have uh, a couple of team members that are helping me. Um, I do most of everything to be honest with you because I'm very um, detailed in what I do and I really really enjoy doing what I do. So I stay very very focused guys. Very very focused. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my office really quick. I'm going to show you guys my office and it's almost decorated but I'm gonna give you guys the little tour so you guys can let me know what you think so this is my little sofa living room area my vintage Marilyn Monroe pictures Oh my God, I love this Marilyn Monroe picture so, so much, guys. And I got my little artwork there, some flowers, my rug, crystals, of course. If you know me, you know, fur coat. And I just love working in my office. Marilyn Monroe and my computer desk it's a little messy right now but whatever so this is my office it's just perfect for me guys it's all I need and this background was actually designed by Paula aka Latonka which you guys are going to see her today. We are hanging out and just kind of like chilling because we haven't hung out in a bit. So we kind of need to catch up. So she's on her way right now. We're going to have a couple of drinks and just catch up and have fun, guys. It's all about enjoying your life and enjoying your day in amazing company. So... You know, cheers to that, guys. Mm. So anyway, guys, I am going to work for a bit before Paula gets here. And I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Guess who's back, guys? Yeah. Latonka. Yeah, it's ready for the fall. Doesn't she look so hot, guys? Oh, look. Thank you. thank you so much. This is your look of the day. Yeah. My fall Stand up, girl. She lost like 80 pounds, guys. 80? I wasn't that big. Well, no, you 
<laughs> look amazing. Thank you. She's on Osempic, guys. Thank you. you know, Osempic, Osempic. I need to get on that. Mm -hmm. She looks amazing. So what are we having, girl? We are having vodka and tonic. Ooh. And we also have some dirty martinis that we could have. Oh, yeah. And a little bit of champagne. A little bit of everything, guys. As well as going to restaurants and having some appetizers. Yes. Did you miss them, girl? Yes. Everyone kept asking about you. Everyone's like, how's LaTonka doing? And then the other girl that saw you at La Penca. Yeah. Uh, one of my subscribers, she's like, oh my god, I saw La Tonka, <laughs> at La Penca, and I wanted to say hi, but it was too weird. Oh. Um, so if they see you oh, around, you. they can say hi. hi. FYI, you know. Anyway, so we're going to catch up, guys. Have a little drinky, and Have we'll be back vibe. soon. Positive vibes. What's up, guys? Okay, yeah. so I was gonna go home after like chilling in the office for a bit. We were gonna go and have like a couple of drinks yeah. and go home. But we always love our company. Like we always have so much fun. I know the lighting sucks here, but whatever. Anyway, I'm spending the night at my BFF's house. Always. And she's gonna drive me to the office in the morning. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. we're gonna do like a little after hour bar. Yes, we are. Um, and we're gonna get fucking crunk. I mean, like, she lives literally across the street, guys. So yes, don't I worry, do. she's good. Let me tell you something. Friends, honesty, relationship, you have to have a good friend. You do, you do. You truly do. And you know what? The most important thing is that you believe in that person and you got to watch out for your friends okay listen we were in oak park mm -hmm. and then we ended up in riverside mm -hmm. and then i'm like okay that is a little selfish of me to have my bff drive me all the way to the office so i can get to my vehicle and then drive home like we're very responsible about this we take this seriously like if we're gonna party yeah like it's, yes. we make sure yes. that we are fucking responsible because there's a lot of fucking crazy people out there yes. that just get so fucked up and don't know what the fuck they're doing we don't like that yeah. like literally like we park our car here we cross the street there's her house and it's so convenient because this is like an after hour bar they close at like what three four and I i'll mean, tell you this much if we're that fucked up i'll have my man come pick us up i don't give a fuck if he's in the bed but let me tell you something that's love absolutely and i hope everybody gets that and, what's um, love got to do yes. got, you know i want to remake that song what's so love got so to do right? got to do with it bitch yeah. what is up guys look who's here amanda Hi. amanda from the bronx not just kidding she lives in new york city and she came to visit and here we are having a dinner drink up, guys. Doesn't she look amazing? Say hi to everyone, guys. Hi, everybody. Ooh, oh my gosh, she is like not camera shy, but kind of camera shy. But I was like, girl, today we're gonna vlog because I haven't vlogged on YouTube in about a year. And now we're back. It's like my little comeback. Yep. And they're kind of getting used to it, guys. It's been a while. But here we are. And you guys know if we come to a Mexican restaurant, we have to do the chips and salsa. We got the uh, frozen margarita, it's mango. And we're just waiting for our food. All right, guys, this is my vegan tacos. So yummy. What did you get, girl? Meat. Oh my God. <laughs> it does look good, guys. But here we are, margaritas taste so good. This is the scene. I'm already buzzed. I don't drink. She's already buzzed. She's already tipsy on her first one. Oh my god. Hey guys, what is up? Here I am dyeing my hair. That's why I look a little bit crazy, guys. 
And the reason why I love and enjoy dyeing my hair is because I've been to many high-end salons and they always fuck up my hair. Either it's not the color that I'm looking for, either it's super close to what I'm looking for, not exact. Last time I went to a high-end salon, went in as a blonde, came out as a brunette. And yeah, the color looked cute, but it just wasn't me. It wasn't what I was asking for. So this is the reason why I don't let a lot of people fuck with my hair. This is the reason why I like to do my own hair and I know it's gonna be perfect. I know the exact time to leave the dye in my hair. I've been doing this for years, guys, okay? Listen, I love it. It's uh, gonna turn out amazing. That's why I look a little crazy. Still kind of recovering from the night out with my bestie Paula. I'm getting older, guys. I cannot party like I used to. We partied until 5.30 in the morning. Literally, I was recovering the entire next day. Day and a half, to be more exact, guys. And I cannot do that anymore. I cannot do that anymore! So I'm gonna be a little bit more responsible when I party and I know that like I party hard because I work hard. If you play hard, party hard, that's cool. But I need to tame it down a bit, guys. And I don't go out as much as I used to because I just don't, guys. But I need to start going out a little bit earlier. Anyway, guys, so let me work on my hair and I'll show you guys the outcome. I'm super excited, guys, because this is vegan cheese. Mmm. And every time that I go to Taco Bell, I always try to customize my food as vegan as possible. Because you can. But when I found out that they came out with this vegan cheese, Game changer, guys. For real. Mm. Lots of cheese in here. Mm. It's probably like 5,000 calories. I don't give a fuck. Today's one of those days. So fucking good. It's a little spicy, but it's so good. Thank God that I'm eating in the office because this chick didn't even put any napkins in there. This is like one of my fucking pet peeves when you do like fast food and they don't put any fucking napkins. Like how the fuck are you gonna wipe your mouth? Look where I ended up guys. I was gonna go to Target but it was just a little too late so I ended up at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna show you guys all the goodies that they have. If you've been following me for a while, you know that Dollar Tree is like my place to be. This is like the OG. So we're gonna be doing a little shopping, shopping on a bougie budget, and we'll see what we find. This is for the car. I haven't tried this one, but I've tried the all clear disinfectant wipes. Those are very, very good, and I compare them to the Clorox one, and they last. So we're gonna take those. Let's see what else we find in here. First time trying it, I'll let you guys know what I think. Uh, Hawaiian Escape, so it should smell pretty good. TT, say hi. Hi. You guys remember TT, Penelope? Penelope, say hi. What are you doing, Penelope? Look at all those name brand items that you can buy. I just love this, guys. 
Oh, this is one of my favorite brands. And check out all the Christmas stuff will be here. Look at those uh, four feet candy canes. Those are very, very nice for like a little DIY. But this kind of like reminds me of like a bougie old lady for some reason. Now this one, this looks very vintage. This is something that I would definitely buy. But I do have a lot of like Christmas decorations at home. So there's nothing that like calls out like Christmas for me. This is like very like generic. And then of course a little storage bin. Oh, I gotta come and do my Christmas shopping before all of this is gone. Some Santa Claus. Okay, there's some cute little items, but still not too crazy about it. What is up, guys? Today is a new day having a dirty martini. I feel like I'm always having like dirty martinis lately. You know, Paula got me into dirty martinis. Hi. Look at her outfit. She looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. So we're going to go out, hang out a bit, have a couple of drinks. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. Mmm. Cheers. This is so, so yummy. No more rain. No more rain. Ooh, or tornadoes. I know. We had a horrible tornado in Chicago. Literally part of my tree fell. And then I called the city. I was like, you guys need to come pick this up. You guys need to trim this tree. They were giving me the runaround. They did stop by the following day. They literally just took that branch and they're like, oh, well, we got to come back another day. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, too much. So now I'm thinking of like doing it myself. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. What's up, guys? Let me fix this. I'm a hot mess today, but not really. I look good. I'm wearing Gucci and Evercrombie and a nice little coat. It is raining in Chicago. What can I say? And I'm driving my Mercedes Benz. Disregard the baby seat in the back. That is my nephew's. I haven't driven this car in, God, I don't know, almost a year, guys, because I like to have a backup car just in case anything happens to the car that I drive. And it finally did. Um, it looks like my BMW is leaking, what is it, a uh, coolant liquid or whatever. And my mechanic is not able to see my uh, truck until next week. So I have to drive this Mercedes Benz. And it's okay, guys, because like I said, I haven't driven this car in like forever. So it's just nice to get back and save a little gas, even though it's like premium gas, but still, you know, like compared to my BMW, I would spend so much money on gas. Um, hopefully this kind of like saves me a little, but um, we're pumping gas right now because apparently this car is on empty. My sister drives this car all the time and my brother, so that's why you see the baby seat in the back seat. Um, but it's okay, we're gonna leave it there. I don't care, guys, you know. Um, yeah, I'm heading to the office after pumping gas, and I might stop by at this um, bakery that is on the way to the office. I keep hearing pretty good reviews about it, and it's that type of like mom and pop kind of bakery. Um, pastry reminds me a lot of like the Czech Polish culture which I do love um, you'll see a lot of like cheese danishes in there like donuts and 
you know, things like that. So, you know, I'm a fat ass and you know that I gotta go check it out. So, we're gonna do that and I am gonna get a coffee as well. I had one earlier today, but it was McDonald's. You guys know that McDonald's coffee is so watered down. So, we're gonna stop by at Starbucks and I don't want to pay like almost $10 for my freaking latte like last time, but we're going to see guys. We're going to see. So let me pump gas, um, head down there, get my little caffeine, and start my day guys. Mind you, it's almost 5 o'clock in the evening and you know, one of the good things about having your own business and being your own boss is that you have your own schedule which is nice i'm super blessed and thankful for that um so it's just nice you know when people are heading home from work i'm heading to the office working a bit uh running some errands and just calling it a day you know a lot of the times i also like working from home which is nice so i get a lot done you know that's the cool part about it. Um, but for sure, there's a little traffic right now. So let's uh, take care of gas before um, my freaking car stops somewhere. And then that's going to be worse. So let me pump gas, fill the tank, and um, start my day. Adamus, how's your day going? Good. How about yours? Not bad, not bad. Thank Here, you. Good. Take care. Okay, this coffee smells amazing. Mm. Oh my God, wait. Fuck. I don't want to fuck it like. I'm not sure if he poured any oat milk in there because it's just so dark. Oh, and I paid fucking like 80 cents for that oatmeal. Let me see. I'm gonna stop somewhere because fucking cars are behind me. And like all of a sudden, everyone wants to fucking turn, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go fucking like two miles a fucking hour, bitch. Like really, like like bitch. Like there's a lot of fucking space, and your ass is fucking tailgating me. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna stop here, like in the middle of the fucking like street. Like bitch, get the fuck away from me, <sighs> motherfucker. Okay, it seems like he did put a little bit of um, oat milk in there, but it's not sufficient, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. I just need a little pick-me-up. Oh my god, I gotta get used to driving this car again. I mean, I love my Mercedes-Benz, don't get me wrong. This was like my first luxury car. And I literally paid off this car within a year. So it's like very, very special. Um, but now that I drive my BMW, I've gotten so used to my BMW. And it's so practical, very like spacious. And I'm like tall, I'm like 6'1", guys. So I feel not claustrophobic, or I don't know if I fucking got bigger or whatever. Um, but I feel like a giant in this Mercedes car, so whatever. At least I have a car. At least, like, we're getting to places. Um, you know, I cannot literally, like, take my truck to get it fixed until next week because my mechanic is just so busy right now. And last time I took my BMW to a different mechanic shop that is not like BMW certified, I ended up paying about literally like $4,000 
just to get something um, minor fix. And that's because that fucking guy who supposedly fixed my BMW uh, tricked me and used like really cheap parts. And he didn't do a good job. And I was like so close in taking him to court. But I was just like, it's not even fucking worth my time. I've learned my lesson. So I just gotta be like a little bit patient. And whenever my mechanic is ready to fix my BMW next week, we're gonna take care of that. So it is what it is, guys. You know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be focusing on shitty things in life i mean yeah it sucks because it's like my favorite vehicle to drive but still you know all right i don't want to be hit thank you mm, i'm a little hungry too i had really good breakfast i had pancakes earlier today at like 8 a.m and that McDonald's coffee, which was so watered down. And um, I'm a little tired, but I shouldn't be tired because I literally just chilled at home all day. I woke up at 7 a.m. So I have an employee that calls me every morning at 7 a.m. to let me know that she's at work. I get it. You're at work. You should be at work. It is your responsibility to be at work. You don't have to wake me up at 7 a.m. to call me to let me know that you're at work. You should be responsible and say, hey, okay, I'm at work and I'm counting on you to be at work on time. Why do you have to call me and wake me up? I mean, I'm very like patient and nice and friendly, but at the same time, this is the reason why I don't give my personal cell phone to employees unless they've been working for me for a very, very long time. I have like a 1-800 phone number that I give out. Um, but again, I don't learn, you know. It's like practical for me to just say, hey, just call my cell phone. Even though like when people call that 800 number, it goes straight to my cell phone. But I just feel that sometimes I'm just too nice and I need to stop that because people take advantage of that. Mm. So, um, yeah, guys, you know, uh, being in the staffing world right now is quite challenging because nobody wants to fucking work. Nobody wants to work. This is the reason why companies rely a lot on staffing agencies because we do all the work. And you know what? I'm very passionate uh, to do what I do. And I really, really enjoy doing what I do. Um, it doesn't really feel like work because it is something that I really like doing. So when I'm calling people to do like a little set up a phone interview or whatever, nine out of 10, they don't pick up. So I text them. They don't uh, reply. I shoot them an email. Um, they reply after like four or five days. Oh yeah, you know, I'm returning a uh, email that you sent me. Yeah, I sent that five days ago. Like, do you not want to work? Or I don't even reply to people like that because I'm like, if it took you five days for me to get a hold of you, you're not going to be a good employee. You know, that is one of the red flags that I really look out for because if you're going to be that type of employee, I want nothing to do with you. So the ones that are very like out there and um, very like professional and reply to my emails, my phone calls, my text messages, those are the ones that nine out of 10 will work out for you. Now lately I've been doing a lot of like referrals through like employees that I already have employed, like family members and friend of a friend or whatever you know sometimes it's easier that way too um and also nine out of ten they don't even work out so it's like a 50 50 right now but again i enjoy doing what i do uh it's part of 
what I do. It's part of my industry job. And it is what it is. And then with the cleaning company, guys, um, I'm going to make another video to, you know, talk a little bit more off what I do there. But it's very simple. It's like commercial and residential cleaning. Um, but I realized that, like, lately, I just want to focus more on commercial cleaning. And why is that? I think it's, like, more corporate, which I'm used to. But at the same time, it's, like, less BS. Um, you do what you're supposed to do. You have your team. Um, you fulfill all those expectations that your client has. And it's a steady job. And that's what I love about it. Cleaning houses could be steady too. But I just feel that it's a little bit more like bullshit. You know. I don't know guys. But again, you know, I love what I do. I'm very passionate to do what I do. And I'm blessed. And I'm blessed that I have an opportunity to work for myself. I have an opportunity to make my own schedule. Um, make my own money. Yeah, it, it gets a little tough sometimes. You know, it gets very challenging at times when your numbers are not met or when you need to bypass your goal. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, being a CEO, I have high expectations and I have to really like fulfill those expectations and not mess around or play games you know at the end of the day it's about making my numbers and keeping my clients happy as well as my employees you know because if your employees are happy um you're going to be very successful at what you do if your employees are not happy and they always complain and they're just not satisfied um it's just not going to work out so that's what i realized Anyway, guys, um, this battery is about to die. Um, let me turn this off. Hopefully, I still have time to head to the bakery. And I will see you guys in a bit. This Chanel lotion smells amazing, guys. So, I'm a little bit bummed because that bakery that I wanted to check out apparently is closed and they haven't updated their Yelp hours. I don't even know like who closes at 4 p.m. Like is it normal for bakeries to close that early or is it just me? Like literally like I was about to get there and I put the um, address in the GPS and I get there and then it's closed. Whatever, less calories. Um, we are gonna have a fall cookie. Those cookies are so, so, so good, guys. I'm gonna have it with my Americano. It actually tastes good. Anyway, guys. Um, this battery's about to die. Hopefully it doesn't die. But um, I'm going to work a little here. Um, if I don't see you, well, thank you for watching this vlog. And I am back. You know, fall is so special for me because it is one of my favorite seasons. And I normally vlog a little bit more during this times. And all I can say is that I'm back. So thank you guys for all the love, all the support uh, for watching this vlog. And I will see you guys uh, next week. Bye.